Tom, welcome to QZOM. Great to have you with us this evening. Cheers, thank you. So, how's it been for you, the tournament up to yet? Yeah, it's been good. Um, obviously, uh, I've not been feeling that great in the game, but to get through the first game, it's uh, always good, especially against Higgins. So, I've had a couple of days just to try and get on the practice table and see what happens in the next one there. OK, well, not quite the practice table. We've got the Q-Zone table right. and we've got snooker fans waiting to ask you lots of questions. But uh, shall we kick off with the routine that you would do first thing in the morning down at the club? Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, I think the first one I'd normally do is just like a just a normal lineup, okay. which everybody does. Um, I wouldn't suggest doing that one because everybody's seen it. You watch, I won't even do it now. But it's um, a lot of people that play this, and it's it's easy to pot a red and land on the pink. You've only got to drop it in. But to play the red and guarantee to get the right side of the blue, it's always a tough one to do. Okay. And I don't see many players playing this one. So obviously I'll just try and start off. Won't even get the first one. So straight. Also, if, obviously, if you come too far, it's yeah. still no good as well. So it's quite a difficult one to do, but hopefully I should be all right. Yeah. Hey, oh, you even missed a blue. Good shot, mate. Nearly messed up already. So, if you land straight, obviously you've got a lot more yeah. margin of error. So then obviously now, if the pink and, if the pink and black was in play there, it'd be easy to just pop one and come back to it. Yeah. But obviously, the shot before, if I didn't land on the blue properly, you're not getting back down again. Uh, I went into Willie Thorne Snooker Club in Leicester. And uh, it was his brother, Malcolm Thorne. Bless him, he's passed away now. But um, my dad took me in when I was eight. And then Malcolm, he said to Malcolm, can I go on and play? I hit a ball straight away and he turned around and said, yeah, you're more than welcome to come in. Because at that time, you had to be like 14 to go and play. But Malcolm took me, took me in, and Mark as well, Selby as well. We both played at Willie Thorns when we were younger. And uh, he had tournaments every week for the youngsters. And do you know what? It must have been the best club in the country yeah. by far. He had a huge um, impact on people's lives, didn't he? Yeah, it's like there was a tournament every week, no matter what standard you was. And then... Uh, no matter what standard you was, you had a tournament. So we had like under 15s tournaments, you had programs, you had everything, handicaps. So if you wasn't very good, you'd go in, you play somebody, you could be getting 60, 70 start. So there was always something going on. Yeah, good place to start. Yeah, really good. How did you get lined up on the shot correctly? Um, I'll just show you on the blue here. It's standing behind the ball, I mean, you've got there's a bloke called Sight Right that does a lot of this. Um, but literally standing behind the ball. So if you stand into one side, obviously you're not going to see it. If you think you put your cue, say in a straight line. If you're standing here, you're not seeing down that line. So you've got to stand right behind it. Obviously some people have the left eye could be stronger than the right, so it's obviously where they stand. But if you can stand right behind it, So just say you're standing right behind it, that's where you are. As you get down, it depends on your build. I mean, Mark Allen's had this problem. Uh, he'll tell you himself, obviously, he used to be a lot bigger, he's lost a lot of weight. So when he was getting down, he was sort of going a little bit more to the side. But it just depends on your build, whereas I'll get down and I'll go more straight. Whereas Mark's always been to the side. Now he's lost all this weight, he was still sort of queuing to the side and then thinking, hang on a minute, his hand's nowhere near his chest because a lot of people have their hands near the chest. So he's had to alter a little bit. But it's more just standing right behind the ball and walking into it. Does actually play better than the match day. Well, this does. Anybody else got a question for Tom? 
Yeah, Tom, I mean, Joe Clark, do you know much about him? He, he's a Leicester lad. Do you practice with, with him? Do you get on with him? Uh, we share a unit together yeah. um, because I've been around a few clubs and yeah. had distractions and everybody that knows me knows that I don't practice as much as I should do. Yeah. And my last club I was at, I'd go in and practice and then I'd think, do you know what, I've had an hour, there's a bar upstairs. I'll go and sit at the bar, watch Sky Sports and just have a couple of drinks. Forget about snooker. Yeah, forget about snooker, I can't be doing with it. Yeah. So um, I've now rent a unit out with Joe O'Connor. Another pro from Leicester, yeah. and uh, we've got two tables in a unit, and uh, we just rent that out. Come and go as I please, yeah. and it's it's better for me to be out of the club because I've got too many distractions in the club that friends could come in and say, "Come on, we're going to go and have a couple of drinks or something." And this goes away, and I go straight to the bar and have a few with them. So it's it's better now that I go in a unit and I, I can't do it. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, there's still a few uh, still a few drinks in the fridge. Still younger, only John. He will do. He's uh, he's got the right attitude. He's um, that's well, complete opposite of me. He's uh, he goes in. He can play six, seven hours a day. Yeah. Um, it just his temperament's great. Whereas I miss one, my head just fall off. Um, doesn't drink. No. Goes to the gym. Do you know he does everything properly? Yeah. But he's got the mentality of winning from younger days because he was very good at pool. And I think he was like a world junior pool champion. So he's got that mentality anyway. And he'll always work at things. So no, he's got a good, good chance of doing well in a few years' time. Have you received any coaching in your time, Tom? Have I ever received yeah, coaching? Yeah, or no. had a coach or anybody? No, any... I've never had a coach. I've always done it from how I see it. Um, I had one lesson with somebody, well, not a lesson, I, I spoke to somebody years ago and I just said, am I doing, I wanted a lesson, just am I doing anything wrong? And uh, I was potting a few balls and doing a few things. I said, am I doing anything wrong? He's gone, no, but let's have a look at changing your cue action. Well, I said, no, I'm not interested. Or you'll show us that. One little one. I needed somebody with big feet. Make the shoe a bit bigger. Try and hit the white off the table into that shoe. There you go. Wow. That's your size 15 back. Ha, ha, ha.